According to reports, the United States plans to arm Ukraine with anti-ship missiles in order to break the Russian blockade off the coast of Odessa. Several U.S. news sites have reported that the U.S. plans to provide Ukraine with advanced anti-ship missiles to oppose the Russian naval blockade, either directly or through a European out to Reuters. While reports suggest that deploying Harpoon missiles to Ukraine's coasts may pose some technical challenges because Harpoon is primarily used at sea, it is well known that the U.S. Naval Air Systems Command has awarded Boeing a $498 million Harpoon Coastal Defense System contract for Taiwan in March 2022. Although technical hurdles in deploying land-based Harpoon systems may be considered, technical challenges in training people about the Harpoon weapon system in terms of tactical usage of the missile and maintenance do not appear compelling. Another fascinating aspect of the stories is the naval strike missile's training duration, which is claimed to be less than 14 days. Technical training, such as maintenance, defect detection, and problem solving, is expected to take longer. 14 days is a relatively short time to train the crew of the missile system. This could be the duration of the missile's tactical use education in order to make the missile batteries as soon as possible. The Norwegian Ministry of Defensive declined to comment on whether it would consider providing Ukraine with additional guns and defense equipment. The Polish Navy is presently using NSM coastal batteries. Anti-ship missiles launched from land have already demonstrated their worth in the Russian-Ukrainian conflict. Although there was some neglect in Russian naval intelligence, missile defense, and firefighting efforts, the cruiser Moskva, which had assumed the position of the Russian Black Sea Fleet's flagship, plainly demonstrated that such a big ship can be sunk even with two anti-ship missiles. Following the Moskva incident, Russian naval activity off the coast of Odessa fell considerably, and small boat losses from TB2 Bayraktar unmanned aircraft strikes occurred due to a lack of air defense capacity. This was a clear instance of the deterrence given by anti-ship missiles launched from shore. Between Donuzlov and Sevastopol, Russian Black Sea fleet forces have been operating close to the coast. The cause appears to be the air defense cover provided by land-based air defense systems, or the limitations of missiles RF seekers, which cannot hit sea targets near to land. Harpoon missiles in the Block 1, Block 1C, and Block 1G variants all share comparable constraints. Once the RF seeker is turned on, the missile is pointed towards a target with a wider radar cross-section due to the area of uncertainty of the seeker. As a result, when a ship approaches an island or land, the likelihood of acquisition is greatly lowered. The missile's target selectivity was improved after the Block 2 variant by lowering the size of the AOU and equipping the system with GPS to engage near shore ships and shore targets. The Block 2 missile, on the other hand, cannot hit if the target is warned early and departs at full power from the initial position when in GPS mode. Such restrictions do not apply to the Naval Strike Missile, which is equipped with IIR, imaging infrared, allowing for pinpoint precision even when the target is close to the ground. Harpoon's range is roughly 75 nautical miles, whereas NSM delivers an A2, AD area of more than 185 kilometers. The Russian Black Sea Fleet has maintained a naval blockade in the approaching area of Ukraine's ports, particularly Odessa, since the start of the war. Ukraine's access to the Black Sea has been shut off, preventing grain exports, crippling the country's key export industry, and driving global food prices to record highs. The Russian blockade would likely end and transportation lanes would open if Ukraine could construct an A2, AD in this area with land-based anti-ship missiles and successfully combat Russian naval forces into the A2, AD zone. The deployment of anti-ship missiles is a significant step toward bolstering Ukrainian defenses, particularly at Odessa, which has been threatened by amphibious assault since the war began. Apart from the benefits already mentioned, the most essential advantage of land-based anti-ship missiles appears to be breaking the naval blockade, which has a detrimental impact on many countries. Without a doubt, such a move would force Russia to take additional steps, 
and any action would undoubtedly escalate the intensity of the conflict in the Black Sea's north. Hope you guys love the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to all. So you can get the notification on each upload.